Hey guys, Half Dude here. Welcome back to Dudeville. We are here in my Let's Play world, and as you can see, right behind me, the uh, farm is empty. And you may be asking, why is that farm empty? Well, the farm's empty because I've upgraded. I built three of them. Um, I. Recorded a whole bunch of footage to show you guys about this big plan moving a farm and then after a bunch of mishaps and Problems I Had this thought like we already built the farm like I don't need to show you again just because I'm building three So I deleted it all and started over from the end of the farm build So we got three beds uh, That whole system over there is all wheat that whole system over there is all their taters and this is mostly taters for the moment, but I got a row of carrots down there, and eventually it's all going to be carrots. Um, that's what I got. That's what I got for growing, and I think I think that'll be good. So we should not need to want for food anymore. Uh, as far as build goes, each one of these things has a excuse me has a tunnel, well lit with the redstone in, so I can maintenance. And uh, it's nighttime. I'm gonna go to sleep. The bad guys have been just a pain. I can only sleep at night. It is night. Anyway. It's um so yeah, I got maintenance space. Same old, same old for uh the system. Hoppers, water washes down, blah blah blah. You guys know how this works. So anyway, food's taken care of. I'm gonna do some stuff with these walkways in between. And uh, probably do something with a little bridge across the top. I think. Let's see if I can get up there. You know, between these three, somehow. Not sure exactly what I want to do yet, but but yeah, we're gonna prettify the area some. Um, like to get some pumpkins and melons, and uh, when we do that, we'll put them up here. We'll make. I'll do some redstone research, and we'll put. Uh, Pumpkin, mountain, pumpkin and melon farm up here next to the other farms and that'll be great and we'll make this a little farming island or whatever you want to call it um still got to work on bridges because i think i think what did i decide bridge is going to be over here from this area to this area to get from this island to there and then again another over there but you guys already know that we talked about that but now, more interesting. Let's, oh, you know what? Let's break the bed. We can take it with us so we can sleep at night. Let's go over the temporary bridge. Real ugly, dirty thing. Oh, and I got to tear this down. This is going to be more, um, here, take that. This is going to be more house space because I think I want to put a bunch of more of these houses up here in uh, Dudeville to uh, give people lots of places to live. And uh, yeah, let's get up here. So we can get an aerial view a little bit. But yeah, yeah, we'll fill some, another house in here and maybe some kind of housing here. I don't know exactly yet, but then housing through here. A uh, couple things, I still wanna do the blacksmith shop, but I was thinking today we need somewhere else for the folks to eat at. Oh, and you guys never got to see the final finished product of the uh, the chicken place. I totally changed up the wood pillars on the corners and made it all like a castle. It's, uh, as you can see, oh my word, it's loud. Yeah, we should do something about this. Let's make some chicken. There's the XP. Come on. There we go. 
Down here. Oh my word. Okay. Yeah. We've got so... The system is completely backed up. Okay. Give me a second. We're gonna... Let me sort this out and then we'll move on to the next project. Okay. Dealt with the chickens. I, uh... Just to show you what I did... Where'd my shovel go? Oh! Huh. Oh, there it is. For a brief moment, I couldn't find my shovel. Yeah, just to show you what I did... For... I added... Three more levels. Because... You know... I said this thing gets out of hand. Oops. All right, we'll put that there. That's fine. At any rate, I did not reload all the eggs back into the uh, system because uh, it just would have taken, well, it would have taken just as long as throwing them on the ground and chucking them elsewhere. Who is that? Did you see that? I, uh, I did intend to throw them out here. Yeah, look who it is. Dude. Ah. I guess we're fighting. Come on, guys. There we go. Hey, I was in the water. Alright. Anyway. Got rid of those guys. Had a little creeper incident. Why we stay in town at night. Go to bed. Like regular people. Normal people. Anyway. Finished the chicken house. The restaurant. Opted for... Cluckingham Palace. Home with the famous no Rome chickens. Yeah. Love to eat there. So. We need an alternative to Cluckingham Palace. Somewhere else to eat. I was thinking we need a steak joint. Steakhouse of some sort. And where are we going to put the steakhouse? Well, obviously we got a seafood house over there. Probably ought to make it a little prettier. But I was thinking the steakhouse over here? Or should we put it over there? Or was I going to put something else over there? I don't quite remember what I was going to do over there. But the steakhouse... Yeah, let's, see. Yeah, let's keep it kind of all together. Oh, don't go near the eggs. So how about the steakhouse over here? We'll put it right here in the corner, in the bank. Um, all this stuff over here is what we need for our steakhouse. And uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So let me build this, the, uh, let me build up the frame and, uh, and I'll show you what we got and explain how everything's going to work. All right, look at that. There's our basic structure. Let's eat something. It's still daytime. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't do that. I want to craft. So anyway, we have our basic structure, which is a four by four base. You cut out for your chest. Hopper back there. This is where you get your goods when they're all when it's all said and done. We got two dispensers. Now this system is going to work. That this is the spot where we're going to breed the cows. This is the spot where we're going to kill the cows. And then all the stuff goes down there. Good, good stuff. So the only thing left to do... Here, put that in there so we can climb up here. So now we got to hook this thing up. So let's start with some buttons. Uh, Alright, so the breeding system... Put that button up there. And the buttons on the top. So then we got our. Oh boy, we're going to fall down. Yeah, we got our redstone. Coming. Did I do that right? No, I did not do that right. Hold on. We got our redstone. We got to take this block out. Redstone that. 
there, yeah, because we need it to come down to power this block so that it powers the dispenser. And just to show you what I mean, in this dispenser, let's put the bucket of water, hit the button, see the water comes out. Awesome. All right, hit the button, water turns off because it's just a direct circuit with the button on off switch. And I keep ruining the lights. Okay, so here, let's get rid of this crafting table out of light. All right, so this is going to be the killing one. Hello? That gets a bucket of lava. But this one's a little more complicated. Uh, nighttime. Let's go to sleep. Don't want to mess with it. Okay, this one's a little more complicated than that. It's going to require some, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it's going to require some time. So in order to manage that, we've got some things here in our inventory. Let's get rid of that bow. And what else do I need? I'm going to need the sign. Move the dirt. Ooh, sticky piston. Move the shovel. And we might need that. Okay, so let's start with the repeater. So we'll put the repeater facing this way. You can kind of see on the texture there's an arrow. And we'll leave it set at normal. And over here, this is where the button goes for the killing. You know, the button will go. See the repeater? Look at that lit up. Alright. So then next, in this location, we need sticky piston. And jump up, get that placed. And then on the sticky piston, we'll put a block. So this repeater is powered by the button, which will power the sticky piston. And then here, we require, well, not a repeater, a piece of redstone dust. And then two more repeaters. Now this one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. We're going to give it two ticks, and the this series of repeaters will uh, it will control how long the lava flows out. Because you remember the water, we hit the button. Let me show you again. Water, button. It just comes out. Look at that. And we're just going to like ruin all these torches we just placed. And it's not going to stop coming out until we hit the button. And we stop it. Alright, so... Light the place up again. Now this thing's different. Is it in there? Yeah, it's in there. So then let's make sure we have all our circuitry in. Oh, wait. Yeah, of course we have to get the, the pulse up to the dispenser. So if we come to the dispenser, you see that? Popped out real fast. I'll show you again just enough to start our animals on fire and what that'll do is not only will it kill the animals but it will cook the meat all right so we're gonna need a sign right here doesn't have to say anything but all that's gonna do is hold back the water when we turn the water on and i'll show you what the water's for momentarily here now what else do we have oh glass because everybody likes to see stuff in action, right? There we go. Glass. And there we go. So we can see everything that's going on. The uh, breeders will be, excuse me, separated from the, from the dead meats. Go up here. Let's just make sure the tops. Yeah, and we have this top open. So then the hard part's going to be putting cows in here. I'm going to have to bait some cows, but we got to get some cows in here, two of them at least. Because then you turn the water on and the cows are going to bob up and down and then they're, you know, you breed them with the with the wheat. So you make a bunch of baby cows and when the baby cows come out, they fall down there. And then you let them sit there and grow up and turn it on, slaughter them up. Bam bam bam. So, I think 
this is simplicity. I think what we're going to end up doing, because we're going to encase this in like an outside thing, make the restaurant so this isn't just some little self-serve, oh, I think I'm hungry for a steak. And, uh, but we're going to have to make a couple more levels of chest, I think, just to make sure, because they will continue to breed. And then they'll fall down here, and eventually entity cramming will happen. And these cows will die anyway, and you'll just end up with raw beef instead of cooked beef. And the chest will fill up super fast. So I'm going to go bait some cows and prepare a pass so that we can, uh, I can, well, we can, I can show you how this thing works. So I'll be right back. I got my cows. Totally forgot I had slime balls because of that slime chunk down below my base. So this makes it a lot easier than just baiting them. Ta -da. You guys coming? Yeah. Glad leads don't break as much as they used to. Let's go this way. Wait, did, yeah, I just said that and it just broke. Come on. Come on. Now this farm I just made, it's a good farm. It can be used also for sheep, which, oh my word, what is with you? Get over here. Which, if I'm smart, I'll make one for sheep also. But it's not necessary at the moment because I don't need 10 ton of wool, but it's a good idea. That, it's a real simple farm. Doesn't cost a lot to make. The most expensive stuff is the, uh, the redstone components. Come on. Oh, the jerk. Yeah, get in here. There. Yeah. Most expensive stuff is the redstone. You know, and that's just iron and uh, redstone and whatnot. It's not so bad. Uh, sticky piston can be tricky, but it's not really that hard to find a slime chunk. All right, we're going to lay in the bed. Now, that's right, we're going to lay in the bed. And then you guys are going to come up here. Come here. Of course. Give me that lead. Give me that lead. Come on. Come on. No, come up here. This is where I want you. Yeah. All right. Uh oh. I got rid of all the blocks in my inventory. Dang on it. That's okay. Let's make a path for these guys. Okay, come on. Come over here. And then let's just see if I can get them to go down the hole. Odds are I'm not going to be able to do this on camera. Let's just give it a try here. Come on. In the hole. Get down it. Yeah. Ooh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Alright, you know what? Come on. Come over here. Come over here. There we go. Alright, take that off. Come on. Come on. I at least want to show the breeding off. Yeah, look at that. Two cows. Okay, so. Now, one of the big important things about this um, 
this uh, farm is you got to be able to access the top. And you got to be able, okay, we'll keep, leave that stuff there. And you got to be able to access the button. So, oh, you know what I might do? We'll get rid of that. And we'll put the button up here. Why not? I mean, I don't need it in the front. So there are the cows. See how they bob? Look at that. There we go. You hear that ding? You probably didn't hear the ding. Game noises really don't come through very well, but there's the baby. So what happens then? Oh, we're going to wait, I guess. But Because we could kill the baby. You know, we'll just kill him. But you can see how it works. Ready, steady. He's on fire. He's dying. He's not happy about it, but, you know, oh, see, we'll let him grow up because it didn't quite kill him, but that's fine. What happens then is the goods end up here when they're grown up, because obviously when they're little, that's not how that works. So, there's our farm. And uh, I think I will do what I said, and I will uh, cut out a space here, and we'll make a sheep cooker so we can have everything we want. Um, and from here, like if you just simply wanted to turn it off, we could put, I guess we could put lava in there, but you know, you just kill them. Dude. Not you. Chicken licking. Get out of here. Alright, so, guys, it's been real, it's been fun, and this is, uh, whoa. Whoa. Try that. And that. Wow. Hey, now we got it. I want to give you a backdrop here. So, there's our cow farm. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been great. But I'm going to go, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya.